Hi, today's job is fixing the window winder mechanism for the electric windows on this MGTF. <clears throat> so first of all we get access to the innards of the door by taking screws off here, two in here, one behind there, two over there and we should be able to then lift off this card. There's a clip, there we go, yep, that little pull, whoa. And normally with these doors should lift over the catch. Actually what we need to do is uh, after I've undone, undone the screw, twist that off the handle so that comes off. Then we can just pull that off from underneath this part so we don't need to take those two screws off. Careful of the speaker wire which should should unclip like so. Then we can put that to one side putting out for any clips or screws that we might have dropped. So that's the door card removed. Peel back a bit of plastic to get access to where the door mechanism, door window mechanism is, which is all to do with this bar motor that's behind here. Take off the speaker to uh, also get access to it. <clears throat> you can feel if anything's come loose by putting your hand around the back, but I think what we're gonna have to do is remove the motor. The symptoms of this particular fault were that the window doesn't move up or down and it was like the motor has seized or some piece of metal work has seized. However, what you can hear is a little clicking noise as you try and, and move the window up and down by pressing the button. So obviously uh, power is going to the motor, it's just not moving. Alright, to get the motor out we have to take all of the bolts off and including the two bolts that hold the mechanism onto the window which are in here and in here. Uh, I put some gaffer tape on the other side of the window just to hold it in place because the mechanism is going to be no longer supporting the window. Uh, then unplug the motor from this cable and the whole mechanism should then lift out to the side like so, which is here. So this is the bit that supports the window and you can see how it works goes up and down like that as this bit this whole thing rotates which is not doing it at the moment because it's stopped by the gear of the motor so what we've got to see now is why this motor is not turning possibly it's got water contamination in it and it's just seized and rusted up so the next job looks to be to get some star screwdrivers and undo these star screws here perhaps now these particular screws are quite stiff so you need the, the right screwdriver bit to fit in there so I think it was a star T20 I think was marked on my screwdriver bit or VT20 something like that which is a six starred screwdriver bit well, we certainly have some water contamination but the gear mechanism works okay if a little bit stiffly could do a little bit of lubrication perhaps oh, not so bad now the screws are moved out of the way uh, so this then is the motor with its gearing next job is to take this plastic apart somehow so we can see that the actual gear mechanism inside is seized because we bent back these tabs the motor casing containing the magnets will come off and you can see that the motor uh, is actually seized solid so the gearing in here is uh, seized up unfortunately you can see that this plastic cap is actually glued on so what we're going to do is get uh, an angle grinding disc one of those fine ones that's used for cutting stainless steel and just slot it down in this gap. We'll have to take the top off these uh, plastic uh, screw recesses but that doesn't too, matter too much for refitting. Cut all the way around here and then should be able to get to the innards and free it up. So there we can see after the lid's been removed, half cut off and half prized off, uh, water's got inside and corroded the uh, gear. Hopefully we can prise that out and clean it all up. See we've cleaned it all up, didn't actually need to take this uh, shaft out, I can just turn it by turning the motor and uh, cleaning off uh, each slot 
with uh, both screwdriver and a scalpel blade cutting out all the rust and everything and then I've rewired it up temporarily the ignition on which is what that beeping sound is and then as you can see it works one way and it works the other way the next job is to put the motor back together again properly see this case needs uh, tapping on a little bit more and the tabs are bending back and uh, I didn't seem to be a huge amount of pressure on this uh, gear trying to move out when the motor is operating so the pressure on the lid shouldn't be too much but nonetheless we'll try and attach that securely it could either be glued down or could possibly be screwed uh, into the plastic another way to give it a useful final clear out is to get a small screwdriver jam it in the slot while pressing the button to activate the motor and gives it a final clear out of every part of the slot on the gear keep doing that quite a few times both ways clean off screwdriver in between see all the rusty stuff that's coming out and it's now starting to shine with surface of metal showing the next step is to grease it up use lots of uh, grease I've got some libdamum grease that I'm going to uh, put everywhere in here it's like a graphite grease uh, before sealing it up I'm going to try and probably use some polymer sealant around the edge to keep the water out and try and screw it together as well right that's it all assembled again you can see I've got a bit of messy sealant, polymer sealant, I only had the white stuff available to stick the lid back on the plastic. Doesn't really matter too much about what it looks like because you won't see the thing once it's installed. But fortunately these mounting screws for the motor actually also clamp the lid back onto the backing plastic, hence holding the lid in place. And with sealant all around the edge, hopefully that's a watertight seal. And so finally we'll just give it one little test, turn the ignition back on again, excuse the beeping. One test before we install it in the door. A little quick movement. Okay. Good enough. And I'll put some grease on these gears and inside the runners as well in here to make sure it moves smoothly. So then it's just a matter of slotting it back in and reassembling it like we took it apart. Good luck with yours and thanks for watching.